So these uh, columns on the left are, are they Art Nouveau? They're very nice anyway. So starting this leg of the journey we're on the eastbound platform at Stepney Green and this was the original station which was opened in 1902 by the Whitechapel and Bow Railway. This was a joint venture between the district, uh, district Railway at the time and the London Tilbury and South End Railway and the new railway connected the district at Whitechapel with London, Tilbury and South End. And this is the station in the 1950s after it had been uh, bombed in the Second World War. District Railway services started in 1905 and then Hammersmith and City Line services which were then part of the Metropolitan Line started in 1936. So it's a fine sign saying to the trains and we can leave the booking hall which is uh, still quite lovely. We're going to look here at the development of Stepney Green. We'll use a series of old maps starting here in the mid 18th century with a famous map by John Rock. So Stepney Green is a remnant of a larger area of common land which was formerly known as Mile End Green. The name Stepney Green developed as a street of residential housing off Mile End Green in the 15th century. Historically Stepney was a very large manor and ancient parish which covered most of what would become the East End. From 1900 the place name was applied to the Metropolitan Borough of Stepney which in 1965 became the southwestern part of the new London Borough of Tower Hamlets, which currently administers the area. Since Stepney referred to a huge area, the rapid growth in population meant that over time the parish was broken up. Hackney is thought to have become independent in the 12th century, Whitechapel in the 14th and Bromley in the 16th. Bethnal Green, Bow and Poplar are known to have been based on pre-existing hamlets and these formed new daughter parishes. So on this map you can see that the Whitehorse Inn is at the top of Whitehorse Lane. So the inn gave its name to the lane. The southern end of the lane was called Ocean Street and the Ocean Estate north of here would follow after the Second World War and hence the name of the estate. There are some fantastic animal based road names all over the 1750s map. Red Cow Lane and Dog Row. And east of Red Cow Lane, there's a brew house on the later site of a massive brewery. We'll come to that on later maps. In 1657, the very first Jewish cemetery in the whole of Britain was built locally. Oliver Cromwell had allowed Jews back after their expulsion 267 years earlier by Edward I. Moving forward to the 1830s, the top of Whitehorse Lane is temporarily called George Street and the Stepney Green name has taken over the whole of the former Mile End Green. While Stepney Green was beginning to get quite built up, the hinterland was still quite agricultural, especially to the south. The large urban space to the north was known as the Mile End Waste, and this was used at the time for political and religious meetings and gatherings. It was quite a Jewish area by now, owing to the establishment of the original cemetery, and this growth meant the establishment of further Jewish cemeteries. And on this map, the Trinity almshouses have appeared. In the 1860s, the urbanisation of the area was driven by the maritime trades along the River Thames, as well as ribbon development along the Mile End Road. By the 1860s, the built-up area is largely complete. Mile End Place was built for Charrington Brewery workers between three of the Jewish cemeteries and opposite a hospital. The origin of the Anchor Brewery can be seen. And elsewhere, industry has arrived. There's a Trafalgar Square on the map, and this was later called Trafalgar Gardens, as it continued to confuse people. 
A bit like Abbey Road on the Docklands Light Railway still does, being nowhere near Abbey Road Studios in St John's Wood. By the turn of the 20th century, urbanisation is so dense that it's difficult to see detail, so we'll zoom in. The Anchor Brewery has become quite huge. And trams are running along Mile End Road. And in 1902, just after this map was produced, Stepney Green Station will open. Stepney Green Station can be seen on this 1950s map. The Lycett Chapel at the top of Whitehorse Lane was gutted by fire as early as 1894, but it didn't disappear until well after the Second World War. And moving forward to modern times, the Ocean Estate is now on the map. A huge shopping centre has replaced the Anchor Brewery. To show that time never stands still, the Half Moon pub was the site of the Half Moon Theatre until 1990. 